What's up guys? It's 2023. It's time for some new kits. Check this bad boy out. So, I, most of you guys probably heard of Red Cat. Uh, they have a lot of the lowriders. Check the lowrider back here, or the Monte Carlo. And this year they're coming out with some new crawlers. So this one is a licensed uh, International Scout. This is their Gen 9. And they have a lot of new goodies in this one. So uh, let's un un unbox this bad boy and check it out. So everything is packed in here real nice. Comes with a cool little sticker kit. Place my added little graphics and stuff. Comes with some extra uh, um, body mounting things and stuff it looks like. Uh, some extra screws. It comes with the uh, side view mirrors. Before we get to this, kind of look at this here. So the box has a bunch of cool stuff on it. It talks about their trans the new transmission, the links, um, their uh, the axles. It's got portals. Um, they changed the. Entry and departure angles on the uh, the chassis with the front bumpers and everything, and you have a lot of details. So it's ready to have a uh, a light kit put into it, and even has light up spots for the dash. So okay, here we have a two speed transmission. Uh, it comes with a nice little decent upgraded servo. Uh, it's regular brushed system. So yeah, it definitely got some cool details in it. It's got a little cage on it, seats and everything. Bunch of little stickers you can put in there. Oh, you can kind of see the sticker kit. So yeah, let's unbox the rest of this bad boy. So definitely protected it well. I got the controller up here. So there's the controller. Got a little covering here for all the uh, different things you can adjust on it. See the little. Switches in there, got power on and off here. Definitely pretty nice. It's got a cool little wheel with a little caliper inside of there. Yeah. Let's see if we can pull this bad boy out. Definitely looks good. So as you can tell, I got the graphite color. Uh, let's see, it's zip tied in here. You might need to grab some scissors. Check this bad boy out. Ooh, it definitely moves real nice. Side to side motion there. Looks like it's a uh, multi-piece uh, body on it. Looks like the front windshield's a separate piece, kind of like how the lowrider stuff had the uh, like three different pieces of it. Just kind of a similar type to that. It's got a bunch of cool little details of uh, the shifter and steering wheel. I guess I can kind of do like how the the chain steering wheels and stuff. Different different things for different styles. So let's peel this protective thing off so you can see this better here. So you can kind of see the nice little details in the grill and the headlight buckets. The uh, shocks feel very fluid. And from what I'm told, they were supposed to get rid of like the bump steer movement. And it feels really nice. So they changed the linkage geometry on a bunch of the things and how uh, the pan hard mount goes. So it definitely stays in the center there rather than swerving to a side like some some of the crawlers do. Definitely goes up and down nice. It's very nice. The tires seem real nice too. So I believe the tires are a new a new type they have their inner codes. So the very scale. It's got a nice little. Nice fitment there. And <clears throat> let's check out these wheels. So these 
These covers are supposed to be like a, I guess they're removable. So you can change, you can customize them if you want, change the colors up on them. Um, we're gonna have to experiment with that. We'll take a closer look at that a little later. It's got cool little center hubs there. Lots of lots of cool details in it. So yeah, you can kind of see all the details in there. And new for this is a new body mounting system. So you just uh, try to see how I can show this to you. Maybe we'll set this upside down. See if you can see it. So down here on the body, there's these little tabs. You just spin them. So you put them, spin them all the way around. Okay, see how it goes now. And then you just lean the body back and it rocks back. And then back here, it's kind of like a like a half little hook type thing. It goes and it grips right back off. So you can kind of see those there. You stick those on and it makes it so it pivots back and forth. So there's the front little mounts. And now while we're in here, you can see the you see the cool light buckets. So you can put the light kit in there. The light kit's coming out pretty soon. Um, I didn't have any of that stuff yet because it's the first round of things, but definitely looks like a nice little structure here. A lot of mounting area here to keep it nice and firm. You can see all the, the bolts for like the seeds and stuff like that. So very nice. All right, and here's the new setup. So it's got a Hexfly ESC in there. It's got a Hexfly, this Hexfly, yeah, Hexfly servo. It's uh, got a lot, a lot more, good amount of torque compared to uh, some of the past kits. This one, um, I believe, once you change the ESC, it passes even more power to it. But right out of the box, it should do pretty good. Um, I don't think we'll need to upgrade that or anything. Uh, here's a tiny little servo here for the do the shifting. So you can see it's got the front mount motor here, goes with the transmission, and then down the bottom you can see the drive shafts go out for the front and the rear there. Uh, battery mounts in the center, which is pretty nice. You can tell like you can slide it pretty good forward to uh, get a nice little weight bias, however you want it. Uh, it's got metal shocks, aluminum shocks, looks like. So it's pretty nice in there. And it's got the, already got mounts for um, some rock lights. I believe that was coming soon too. Nice little different types of rock light kits. You don't have to worry about mounting them up anywhere weird ways. Definitely very nice. Oh, and also, this is new here. They have like a rock slider area. Kind of, you can adjust it. Looks like it moves a little bit. But it, uh, the body tucks in there and protects it nicely. So yeah, definitely cool little build. The chassis rails look like you know, like a C rail, like a real truck, nice and beefy. Um, all the rods are pretty nice here. So definitely excited to take this bad boy up some some rocks. Gonna charge up a battery, see how it does. Uh, it's got a Dean's plug on it. I'm sure, I got something for that. Uh, it'll take 2S and 3S right out of the box. We typically do 3S on mine, so nice to have the little extra power. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting some lights on here because I think that would be a cool little feature to add. Um, as you can see, it's got portal axles. I'm not sure if I said it before, I was talking about the axles, but it's got portals on it. Nice little extra ground clearance. Um, oh, you can see the, the new departure and entry angle thing. It goes nice and far there. So you don't have to worry about scraping the body on anything, getting caught up. So this is the front here. So when you're entering in, I'm taking the mountain would be here, but you can see how much angle it gets there. And as you're going up, it goes up pretty straight. So yeah, flexes nicely. So yeah, stay tuned for the uh, driving footage and uh, we'll see how this bad boy does.